growing, yeah, growing can be addictive. <laughs> I try to concentrate really on the things that I do well with. Try to learn all I can about the vegetables, about growing, and then spending my time doing it, trying, you know, to um, improve all the time. You can't start suddenly start and think you're going to grow or something big. You, you've got to plan and work to it. I, I guess it's dedication, really. I'm quite competitive in, uh, <laughs> in my nature. Um, I don't think I would be, I certainly wouldn't be growing uh, a lot of these giant vegetables if, if it wasn't for the competitions. You can't spend all your time um, growing just for um, your own satisfaction. You've got to, uh, you've got to have something to aim for and, uh, and, and something to achieve at the end of it. Well, these onions were planted late, really. They were, they were started in October, early October in pots in the greenhouse. They've been grown on in the greenhouse all winter. They were planted out about six weeks ago into here with a view to um, not having this yellow tip in, but I'm still getting the yellow tip in, so I'm a bit, I'm a bit concerned about this. It could be we're overwatering. It could just simply be the fact that this is a very sunny tunnel, catching the morning sun, and it's bleaching them. I'm inclined to think it's something to do with the weather conditions. We had a very hot spell a month, six weeks ago, which I wasn't too concerned about. We've had it before, it's short-lived. Short but now we've had a, a fortnight of very cold weather uh, with hard frost and I'm sure it's having a, a knock-on effect. So I'm hopeful we don't get that this year. We're hopeful we get a more uh, temperate August. last few years uh, I've been fortunate to be uh, sponsored by Canna which is very helpful because they provided uh, me with the uh, compost or the growing medium as it's termed and the feeds. I learnt a lot about their products and I'm, I'm really um, pleased with them. I'm really pleased with the, with the cocoa and the taro products. Well, I've had a lot of success over the years, um, world records, particularly with the onions. Really, I measure my success by the results at the shows. Uh, if um, You can't always win, we know, but if you can get a personal best, as they say, uh, if you can grow something larger than you've grown it before, it might not, might not be a winner or a world record, but at least you've had that you know, achievement. I'm Peter Glazebrook and I'm Kenneth.